a stronger France in 2030. That's what French President Emmanuel Macron has promised. The government says that the recovery plan isn't just an injection of cash to get the country's economy back on its feet. It's a 10-year programme that will focus on innovation and revitalising French industry. Un projet dans lequel nous voulons projeter le pays pour plus d'indépendance et donc les relocalisations, pour bâtir un modèle d'avenir fondé sur le savoir, sur l'écologie et la transition écologique, qu'il s'agisse de la rénovation des thermiques des bâtiments ou de filières comme l'hydrogène, et de bâtir sur les compétences, c'est-à-dire d'investir dans les femmes et les hommes et en particulier notre jeunesse. The main themes of the 100 billion euro package are economic independence, the environment, jobs and social aid. The government is earmarking 40 billion euros to promote industry and business, 20 to 30 billion euros on an ecological transition and 20 billion euros each on jobs and social aid. The coronavirus crisis revealed France's dependence on foreign suppliers. Macron wants to turn that around, investing in French industry, particularly the pharmaceutical sector, and encouraging companies to relocate their production back to France. The government has also promised 10 billion euros worth of corporate tax cuts over the next two years. The package will also promote a green transition, with funding going to energy renovation, promoting hydrogen energy and greener transport. Youth employment will also be getting a boost, with 6.5 billion euros aimed at the 700,000 young people now entering France's job market. The plan has its critics, however. Some lawmakers think that it neglects consumer spending, while others say that it's come far too late, as it will only be voted on in Parliament at the end of the year.